Topping on news, the Lavent Hill man appeared in court alongside three others charged with offences stemming out of the anti-gang act. As Peter Christopher explains, it is the first time in over two years that such charges have been read out in court. With a heavy police presence occupying St. Vincent Street, Anton Bumbe Boni, Nigel Sandy and mother and son duo Denise Earl and Nigel Earl were ushered into the Port of Spain High Court shortly before noon today. They appeared before Chief Magistrate Marcia Ayers Caesar in the Port of Spain 8 Court just under two hours later. 30-year-old Boney of John John Laventil was called upon to answer five charges. He was charged with the offence of operating as a gang leader from the period July 11 to August 3, 2013. He, along with Sandy and the younger Earl, was also charged with the offence of being involved in a gang, as well as the attempted murder of Gregory Goodridge and the conspiracy to murder Kevon Cooper. The three men were also charged with attempting to coerce Kadeem Blake to join a gang. Denise Earl was also charged with assisting the activity to the benefit of a gang and inviting support to the activity of a gang. This is the first time since the 2011 state of emergency that charges have been laid in relation to the anti-gang legislation. The four were not called upon to plea. The four were also remanded into custody as the Act states any individual charged with an offence under the Act is not entitled to bail up to 120 days. Boney's attorney, Wayne Sturge, claimed his client's constitutional rights had been infringed as since being taken into custody on Friday, Boney, a diabetic, had no access to his medication. The matter will return to court on March 6th. Peter Christopher, C News. The Attorney General wants more results from the use of the anti-gang legislation. Speaking with the media early in the day, Anne and Ram Logan maintained that the legislation is workable and practical, and he believes it can help make a dent in the crime situation. The legislation was used during the state of emergency, but it was ineffective because it was not properly implemented. The problem with the anti-gang legislation has not been with the law itself, but rather the implementation and application and enforcement of the law. The, crime the gang suppression unit in the police service converting the intelligence and information into admissible evidence has proven to be a, a challenge. But I'm happy that they have used the learning, um, the learning curve wisely and we have seen some measure of results. It is still not satisfactory. I believe a lot more can be done. There is a lot of room for improvement. Police officers are investigating a double murder in Rio Claro. It is believed a former murder accused is among the deceased. Police say they received reports at around 11 a.m. that a car was on fire along Guaguayari Road in Rio Claro. Officers from the Rio Claro Fire Station were sent to the scene and they discovered the bodies of two men in the burning vehicle. The charred bodies were burned beyond recognition. However, police suspect the men might be 66-year-old Patrick Nelson, a gardener from the area, and Sheffy Roberts, who was well known to the police. They say the two men were seen in the Datsun pickup license plate number PBB 9615 this morning. In the absence of a positive identification, police will have to await DNA testing to identify the bodies. Roberts, pictured here, was found guilty of manslaughter in 2009 before being acquitted after appealing his case in the San Fernando court. The incident has raised the murder toll for the year to 62.